Yes, sir. So it is now Thursday morning, the official first day of San Diego Comic-Con. I did go to preview night last night. So if you haven't seen that video, before you watch this one, you might want to go back to watch preview night. But preview night was only three hours. I didn't have the opportunity to see everything. I didn't have the opportunity to buy everything that I wanted. So that's why I'm going back today. Not to mention, got to go back early. I need to be in that line when doors open because there's definitely some exclusive things that I want to buy before they sell out. However, before I walk into San Diego Comic-Con today, I have to stop by the off-site Dragon Ball experience. So I am wearing the shirt. You see it there. And I'm excited to go there. So I'll show you that first. Let's check it out. So they did have signs all around the convention advertising where the Dragon Ball offsite experience was. And the moment you get to it, they had a huge inflatable of Goku. And inside this experience, they showed off all kinds of different action figures from Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, Dragon Ball Super. And then they did make their way to Dragon Ball Daima. But I love seeing all of these different action figures. I do actually have a few different statues made by Ben Presto back at home. So seeing these gives me a better idea of maybe anything that I have missed or anything that I want to buy in the future. And this Goku diorama was very clean to me. I liked all the different forms of Goku pretty much in some type of time order as well. And here are the Dragon Ball Daima figures. They had little Vegeta, little Goku and Piccolo and the new villain of Dragon Ball Daima. And here's a look at some of the Band Presto figures that they had on display. I'm definitely eyeballing that Broly and the Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta, maybe for my collection back at home. And again, I mentioned they weren't short of advertising for Dragon Ball Daima. So they did have a short summary of what Dragon Ball Daima is and going to be for this fall. And they even had the trailer playing on the TV here. Rest in peace, Akira Toriyama. I couldn't say it enough. And moving more into this offsite experience, they had a ton of photo op opportunities. My personal favorite were the life-size statues of a lot of the different Dragon Ball Super characters. And now to my favorite part of the entire experience, they had Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, the demo where you could actually play it. And you know, your boy had to hop on the sticks. I did pick Frieza and ended up fighting Vegeta. Y'all, let me tell you, this game is so smooth. I already have it pre-ordered. I actually pre-ordered the Ultimate Edition day one. They could have took a loan for me, ran my credit. It didn't matter, but I got the dub. They even gave me this nice medallion that said I played Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. So you can't take that away from me. Now I have made my way back into the convention. SDCC day one. Let's go.
And very similar to the Dragon Ball offsite, they did have an offsite for the 75th anniversary of the Peanuts. A lot smaller inside, but they did have some of the different TV screens playing and numerous accolades from the Peanuts across the years. And it wouldn't be a offsite experience without a few different photo op opportunities. And on the way back, I did come across the local transportation system wrapped in Deadpool and Wolverine. And ironically enough, from my hotel, I actually had a view of the SeaWorld fireworks right before I went to bed and reset for another day. All right, so it is now Saturday night and I wanna show you some of the after hour festivities that take place after San Diego Comic-Con. So I'll be heading to the gas lamp district, see whatever it is that we may see and make sure to get it on video. So let's check it out. So I'm back at the convention center, just wanted to show you a little bit of a nighttime view of what the convention center itself really looks like. But directly across the street from the gas lamp district, where we want to be just to kind of check out some of the festivities and happenings around this area. All right, it's now Sunday morning, the last day of San Diego Comic-Con. I've had a blast the entire weekend and time that I've been here, but very sad it's over and very sad it's ending. I wanna go back to the convention today. I think there's just like one, maybe two more things that I wanna pick up. Gonna bring you along for that journey. So let's check it out. So it's the last day of San Diego Comic-Con and the first stop I had to make was the Funko booth to in fact pop myself and I chose Deadpool for this one from the Deadpool and Wolverine movie. Directly across from the Funko booth was seven bucks a pop and they had a few voice actors such as the voice of Master Chief, Cortana, and Courage the Cowardly Dog. Well, that concludes it for San Diego Comic-Con 2024. I didn't have the opportunity to make an official outro, but as always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And until next time, I'm out of here.